grab your coffee because today we are talking about socialization. I put a poll on my community tab asking you what your feelings were about socialization. And I really was excited to get the feedback on this because as my daughter is getting older, socialization or interaction with others outside of the homeschool is becoming a priority for us. And I wanted to see what you thought about it. And it's very mixed feelings. I mean, some people say that they don't really think about it at all. A few people say that they think about it some, but it's not a major priority. But for us, it is becoming a priority. It wasn't before, but when sixth grade hit, it did become a priority. It's something that my daughter really started asking more and more about. And so when my friend Christy from These Little Sprouts saw my poll and said, hey, are you doing a video on socialization? I said, yeah, I'm planning on it. She wanted to see if we could do videos together. So make sure that you check out Christy's video, which I will link down below. Christy will have a different perspective than I will. Maybe some things are the same, but I have a only child, one. And so that is a different perspective, I believe, than what she will have where she has multiple children. Because one of the reasons that socialization is important to me right now in my daughter's life is for her to maintain that confidence. The confidence that she had when she was younger, I kind of saw beginning to fade as she was getting a little bit older. And I wanted to put her back in some of these social situations where she would be able to gain that confidence again. I mean, middle school, well, at least my middle school experience was pretty difficult. I didn't like it. And I didn't want her to become someone who was more comfortable in being in our home with two adults and no other children for long periods of time versus someone who knew how to get out there, knew how to put herself out there and interact with others, knew how to manage mingling at a social function where you can go from this person or this group to that group and really be able to mingle and interact with multiple groups of people. That was something that I wanted her to learn. I wanted her to maintain some of that and get back some of that confidence that she used to have so that she'd be able to hold on to it and have it help her through middle school, high school, and beyond. And so socialization really did become a priority for us. It became such a priority for us that for the past two months, we have really taken a step back in academics and put socialization and things related to that socialization, that interaction with others, as a priority for our homeschool. Because this is a skill that really is needed for life needed to be able to interact with others. They may be a little bit younger than you. They may be a little bit older than you. They may have more experience than you, or they may have less experience at things than you. But just being able to interact and have those tough conversations of being able to defend your position in a very respectful manner. So what we have done is really open up the gates. We have opened up and we've been running so much. I will tell you, being social is really time consuming. We have had to make some concessions for other areas of our life and so that she would be able to have these experiences. I wanted her to know how to be a valuable member of a team. What does that mean? What does that look like? It can't be all about you when you are on a team. And to be quite frank, when you're an only child, it is very easy for everything to be about you. But a team tells you that it's not about you. You have to think about what is best for the team. What do you have to do to be a good team member? When you get benched, what 
does that mean? Why did you get benched? Be able to have faith in your coach to know why you got benched and that that was the best thing for the team at that moment. And these are all learning experiences that she really needed. I wanted her to be able to learn how to become part of a team, a valuable part of the team, and be able to contribute to that team. And in the process, make friends that she doesn't normally interact with. People who would not run in our church circles or our homeschool circles, but people who she needs to learn how to interact with. How do you be able to respectfully stand up for your beliefs, respectfully have enough confidence in yourself to not be taken advantage of by others, but still handle it in a mature fashion? This is something that I really didn't anticipate as being something that she would learn through this experience, but it is something that she has. She has learned how to stand up for herself, and that just does my heart good. That impresses me that she has that much confidence and is willing to stand up for what she believes is something that I am so thankful for. Another thing that I wanted her to learn was, quite frankly, how to mingle, how to have multiple different groups at a function and you be able to talk to all of them. You be able to talk to friends from one circle and friends from another circle. And that is something that you have to have exposure to. There are very few people who are just born with this ability to do great mingling. And it's something that I had to learn. And that was really a lot when I was in high school was I was put in situations where I had to learn that. But fortunately for my daughter, she just had that situation. And that is a skill skill that can take her far to be able to interact with multiple groups at one function and nobody feel left out. And that's something that I really think that she did, at least from the reports I've heard, she was really good at. And I'm thankful to be able for her to start learning how to do these social interactions. Something else that I wanted her to learn is how to interact with people who are dramatically different than you, whether they are older or younger or a different ethnic background or a different socioeconomic level or different religions, different beliefs, these types of things to be able to interact with those individuals and be exposed to these different cultural groups and have the ability to be comfortable in talking to all of them to be comfortable in interacting with them, to be able to know that you can learn something from every single person you meet. That is something that I think is important about socialization. And I'm really glad that my daughter has been able to start interacting more with, with a diverse group of people so that she can learn from all of these individuals. Another thing about socialization that I'm pretty excited about is learning how to respectfully disagree. This is something that we have worked with in our homeschool, but respectfully disagreeing with your parent is a lot different than respectfully disagreeing with your peer. And learning how to respectfully agree and respectfully disagree is another trait that I want my daughter to have. And truly, this social interaction is a way for her to learn how to do that, to learn what does she truly believe in? To learn how to be respectful in those interactions where you 100% don't agree with the other person, but you need to learn how to respectfully disagree and how to present your arguments in a very respectful manner. And so that is another thing about socialization that I really want her to be able to do. So all of this to say, in sixth grade, socialization became a priority, and it's really that interaction with others, the interaction with 
other people outside of the home became a priority for our homeschool because these are skills that she is going to need. Now, she does have the skill of being able to say hello to people at restaurants or being not being backward when she meets somebody new or something like that. But I wanted those deeper socializing skills to be able to be started. And we really did kick them off in sixth grade. And I'm planning on building on them as we go through middle school and high school. If you are interested in another video on socialization and what specifics we are doing with regards to how we are socializing in our homeschool, please do make sure you are subscribed because that video will be coming out shortly. A little background on me. When I went from high school into college, I was hit with a massive social adjustment. I had no idea what I was doing. I was meeting people with beliefs that I had never heard of. I was meeting so many diverse groups of people and I really did not know how to interact with them. I just froze. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. It was a huge learning experience for me from high school to college. Now, as I went throughout my career, there were other experiences that I had, but that jump from high school to college was absolutely the biggest social jump I had to make in my life. And so I want to start right now in helping her learn some of those things that I had to learn all at once in that jump. And we are now beginning to implement from some very specific steps in socializing, in learning how to be social, in learning how to have these interactions, in learning how not to take offense, and not letting their opinions impact your own opinion. And it is a slow process. This is something that we are taking extremely baby steps throughout the next few years in preparation for her to succeed in life. I want to thank Christy for reaching out to me about doing this collab together. Thank you so much, Christy. Please make sure that you do check out her video below. I am excited to see what she has to say about socialization. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.